Hey, it's Philly with Prairie Palms midwinter update. So I know it's been a while since I made a video for you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you everything that I got going, the good, the bad, and the dead I'll talk about as well because I lost a few palms this winter. Uh, so this uh, is March uh, 5th, uh, 2022. And uh, next video I make will probably be uh, when they all go out uh, in uh, early May. Uh, so yeah, let's get to this. Okay, so starting here in the basement uh, where it's uh, crazy messy with all the kids' toys and everything, but we'll uh, we'll get going with the basement crew here. Uh, right in the corner here, my Trinex Radiata um, has uh, one, two, three, four uh, full, uh, mostly healthy fronds. I mean, I got some brown tipping here. Um, it's got uh, grow lights on it, um, and uh, I'm thinking maybe the brown tipping is yeah lack of humidity because I'm not spraying it. I'm not adding any humidifier to these uh, guys down here. Um, it, the humidity's maybe affected uh, this guy more than others, um, but uh, still growing, still pushing. Uh, got that guy coming up. And uh, yeah, dying to get outside, I'm sure, but uh, he's, uh, he's pulling through and still looking nice and green. Uh, this guy also with grow lights, my Washingtonia filibusta. Um, which, uh, you know, getting, getting pretty big, but it's doing some really weird stuff. I'm trying to bend it back into shape because it's growing crooked. And what it's doing is it's making these fronds, um, that instead of, uh, you know, uh, fanning out and straight, like the older fronds have done, the new ones are growing in, uh, curved. Um, this new guy right here growing in curved, this guy coming through going to be curved. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, you know, I got some, uh, guys, uh, on this channel who've, uh, grown lots of Washingtonia, um, you know, Kyle and, uh, and Alex and stuff like that. Um, James Palms, uh, you know, uh, Sandor, uh, you know, some of these guys will, uh, maybe have a better explanation. I, I can't figure it out why it's growing crooked, but I'm trying to bend it back into shape with these uh, grow lights, and uh, I don't think it's uh, it's working very well. Moving over here, uh, Dipsis lutescens, uh, mostly doing pretty good. Got some brown tipping, um, but uh, keeping it well hydrated here. Uh, not grow lights in here, just regular lighting, but uh, it's pulling through uh, pretty good. Uh, overall, really healthy. Uh, some brand new fronds here uh, in the uh, in the winter, and um, no complaints. I did get some uh, some uh, spider mites on her um, fairly early on back in uh, uh, October, um, but ever since then, um, no sign of any infestations. And uh, yeah, just keeps uh, keeps putting out uh, new uh, new growth. So. That's my gauge of health, and I'm going with that. Uh, another one doing really well is uh, Cyagris Romans Zafiana. This was my smaller of the uh, the two that I had. Um, bad news about the bigger one. Uh, as soon as it came in in the winter time, uh, it up and died within a matter of days. And I don't know the reason for it. Maybe it was too cold. I don't think it was overwatered because it was also in terracotta, and water you know runs through it. I put a lot of water through it. Uh, frequently but uh it uh maybe had you know um some crown rot or something but um it got soft and all the fronds uh dropped and within three days of me noticing something was wrong with it uh the whole palm appeared dead so i had to toss it uh which was sad it was uh it was uh significantly larger than this one that i have but the smaller one is doing uh really really well no added humidity no brown tipping, um, watering it like hell, um, and it stays in this spot. Uh, I did have some mites on it about a month ago, small mite infestation that I was able to uh, clear away with uh, uh, Safer's End All, um, and I got another bottle on hand just in case it hits it again, but um, uh, really uh, minimal complaints with this guy. Uh, my Rafus Excelsa. Uh, also doing really well, hasn't really moved uh, in the winter. Um, do uh, have, uh, you know, a couple of brown tips here and there, but uh, the uh, new spears that are coming out are looking really healthy. All this on top here is brand new growth with no damage. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
really good. And never been hit by any um, uh, mites or mealy or scale. I've had to deal with some scale on some palms, but uh, Rafe's Excelsa Indoors looking uh, as good as the day that I got her. Uh, so, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, last but not least here in the basement, uh, I got lots of people asking about my uh, bottle palm uh, Hyophorbi legenicollis. Um, it, uh, it really took a beating from lack of light um, in, the, uh, in the winter. I did a, a video on it uh, by the time I got it to my office. Uh, it started to perk up because of the lighting in my office, but work told me that I had to get rid of it and bring it back home. So I brought it back home, got it here under lighting uh, immediately, and uh, she uh, stopped dying. And um, yeah, this frond is still good. I'm gonna keep it on here for photosynthesis and stuff. This one too, really damaged. Um, gonna keep it on until the summer. Um, and uh, once the summer comes, I'm hopefully gonna have uh, that guy this guy that just opened and that guy that opened at the beginning of the winter. Um, so hopefully three healthy fronds will, uh, will get me through in the summer. And uh, other than that, she's doing uh, doing pretty good. Um, thank goodness I was able to uh, diagnose what was going on with it fast because this uh, shit here started uh, really quickly, um, almost out of the blue. It was fine for about uh, two, three weeks indoors with no change and then all of a sudden, I come downstairs in the morning and uh, a lot of the fronds are soft. Like uh, this is all dried now, but it was soft and black. And um, I had no idea that it was from lack of light, but yeah, lack of light will do that. And uh, she's now doing good under this guy there. And yeah, um, I'll have to find a better spot for it next year because it's a spare bedroom here in the basement. Nobody's staying in it, but uh, um you know, when my folks come to visit or uh, when Karen's folks, uh, you know, come to visit, then they, they like to be in there. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, now head upstairs.